Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are interested in hearing some answers to questions about things like easels and brushes and even jewelry, stick around. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Stay tuned for brush talk, easel talk, and some other random things. So the first question I had was about my table easel. So I actually don't use a table easel. I have an easel on my table. It's actually just an outdoor brand, I think, called Maybeth. I'll show it to you a little closer here. So this is my table easel. Um, this is what I have done with it. It's a Maybeth, if you can read that. And I've placed some screws I don't like sitting my painting back in, like back here, because I want to be able to get to, you know, all these places. So I put those screws there so I can just, you know, stick it in the screws and be able to get to really the whole painting. And then what I like about this, it also works well. for larger paintings. And anyways, it's been really great quality. It's held up. I have taken it outdoors a lot. Found that that was like just really cumbersome and pain in the rear to set up. I have a different travel easel, two different travel easels that I love, which I've done other videos. You can look back. I've done some videos on those. I would just say get what you can afford and get something good quality and think about how you want to work. Do you like to sit down? Do you like to stand? How big? How small? Think about those things and then just make it work. I did several adjustments on mine and they've worked great. I've actually just really loved my second question that came in was about brushes and I feel like this is like a thing that needs its own video all by itself but I'm gonna tackle it here today but I do feel like it's not gonna be necessarily the quick answer that you want so I was asked if I could recommend some affordable brushes for a beginner in oils and so one of the things I have people say to me when they come in my studio is whoa you have a lot of brushes I don't really feel like I actually have that many compared to most artists, but I do have a lot. Part of it is because you have to just experiment with brushes. You've got to figure out what you like. It is not just a, hey, here's some great brushes for oils. There's so many things to take into consideration. The surface that you're painting on, are you a detail painter artist? Are you loose like I am? Do you want a little less control? Do you want a lot of control? Do you want something that smooths, that glides, that's a little rough? that really picks up the paint? Do you want it to be thin and, and perfect and little bitty lines, those kinds of things? I paint very loose and I like there to be a little bit of lack of control for a better way of saying it. I'm totally fine with bristles being left in my painting for there to be a scratchiness. I like loose painting so I like sometimes for my surface or my brushes to just kind of mix it up and not exactly have full control which probably doesn't make maybe a lot of sense. Maybe some of you can relate with that. I find that if I start getting used to something and I'm getting frustrated with the way I'm painting, I just switch up a brush or the surface. Each type of brush that I have that I'm gonna show you in a minute, it just functions so differently depending on the surface that you're using, which is a lot of fun. But I've been using some just cheap Arama brushes. I mean like a whole pack of I don't know, 50 million for like $4? Not really, that's what it feels like. Let's get into some of the brushes. Typically for like oil painting, people always recommend like hog brush, hog hair brush, something like that. Just like a bristle brush. It's kind of rough, kind of thick and stiff. I've got lots of these, I never use them. Actually, I take that back. The times that I use them is more for eraser. So like uh, with oil, you can just kind of like erase stuff and so I will use like a good stiff but really um I just don't use them for anything more than that onward next okay hold on now this is maybe the brand that if I was going to recommend one because it's kind of like in this middle it's not real smooth and it's not rough I use these a lot at the very beginning of my painting process Bristleton bright silver I never really know which thing to say first and what's the brand and all this. I'll have it all down below. So here's three different sizes. They just have a nice like bouncy, they're a smoother synthetic kind of hair. I normally like even use something this size 
for sketching. Like I would draw, I draw my painting out with something pretty big, bigger than what you probably would think. I just found that I don't like getting used to a brush, which probably sounds so bonkaroos, but I just don't. Okay, onward. Basically three pretty different type of bristles right here. Hey, I wonder if like if I did something like that, could you see it a little better? This one right here, this is a really smooth bristle. It's the Princeton Art Brush Company Summit 6100R round size six. I have a lot of these in different sizes and I do use these a lot. This is going to be like a smooth, that's all, that's all I know how to say about it. It's kind of a smooth thing. I have these only in round for some reason. I don't know. It's just what I have. Here's the other thing. For me, I typically um, pick up a brush and paint the entire painting with that brush. I just make it work. Like I don't even think about switching brushes. I'm like so into it. Just... So that's that. Okay. I got off on a tangent there. All right. Here's another smooth-ish. Actually, I would say probably pretty smooth. This is the, oh goodness gracious, can I read it? Double Thick Bright Windsor & Newton Eclipse. If you can tell, let's see if that will focus. If you really like bought this brand new, it would not be so like splayed out. I basically ruined these. I've ruined every one of them. They get it splayed instead of nice and tight and smooth. At first I was like, ah, I've got a lot of good money for those. But I really like the splayness because it, it just gets, I don't know how to explain it. It just isn't as predictable. It just goes back in that camp of like, I like that. I don't really know what it's gonna do. Let me get on to the cheap Arama. I have like three different sets of these cheap, cheap, cheap Arama. Like I just bought some at the art store. I think I got 50 million brushes in one pack for like $4. Pretty good price. Anyways, they're just cheap. And they're very like hog-like bristly. like scratchy, what I would consider like they're not nice and soft and all together they're very splayed. Look, here's one that you can see like look how splayed. Is that a word? Splayed? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like <laughs> instead of like this. Okay, that's what they are. They shed like crazy so the bristles fall out and break and stick to your painting and get stuck in there. I love that. I would suggest play around because every surface that you use, the way you're even loading your brush up, the way you pick up the paints, or how thin you use them, how thick, it's just gonna be different with different brushes. And for me, I like to have a variety that are completely across the board and other people wanna know exactly what their brush is doing. And that's why I think as artists, we have so many brushes. That's just how it is. And also they just like get worn down when you start really using them. And that's fun too. I have some nubbies that I use for like drawing and other things. That's my brush thoughts. The last question that I had was, where did you get your earrings? Thought that was a really nice question. Oh no, it's all tangled up in this crazy hair of mine. I got them from a store here in Nashville called Scarlet Begonia. They have the best jewelry and clothes, not sponsored. I really love their stuff. If you're ever in Nashville, go check them out. Those are my answers for your questions. And don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.